Welcome to the Skynet Terminator Model T-800. The Cyberdyne Systems Model 101 Series 800 Terminator, or simply T-800, the type of Terminator mass-produced by Skynet. The T-800 Terminator was Skynet's first cybernetic organism, with living tissue over a hyperalloy endoskeleton. This made it Skynet's first successful infiltrator unit, capable of infiltrating the resistance. The Terminator Model T-800 was the first in the line of Series 8XX Terminators in various timelines, including the T-850 and the T-888 Terminators. Specifications CPU The 800 Series Terminator contains a neural net processor CPU, or learning computer, contained within the endoskull and protected by internal shock dampers. The CPU developed by Cyberdyne Systems is one of the most powerful microprocessors ever built. As part of its vast internal databases, the T-800 contains detailed files on human anatomy and psychology so as to make it a more efficient killer. The CPU could also be updated with multiple database files related to the advanced infiltration techniques, basic training for soldiers, emergency medical training, sniper training, an extensive tactical database, and detailed files from other Terminators making each unit a combat veteran. Self-awareness. It appears as though some units have had their CPUs set to read-write mode and have been in the battlefield for long periods, have taken a new level of understanding wherein they choose to fight for the humans rather than against them. As a rogue, T-800's primary concern is self-protection. Skynet sees these units as threats and has orders that all other models to terminate them on site. However, these units have developed a large database of in-field improvisation, improving upon their combat ability and their self-repair function. It is not uncommon for a rogue T-800 to improve its physical design by replacing or improving components of itself from other disabled units as seen by captured T-800 unit which showed multiple non-standard modifications, including crude armor plating, additional CPUs, multiple limbs, serrated talons, and internal multiphasic weaponry powered by its internal fuel cell. Skynet has used such infield modifications in its latest designs. The rogue T-800s have achieved this level of autonomy by having their CPUs set to read and write shortly after factory production. The CPU can be manually switched. This ensures that a switch is not activated by a virus or programming glitch from read only to read and write, enabling it to learn from its contact with humans and therefore allowing it to conceal itself more efficiently. However, some units have reached the level of understanding where they could choose to accept commands from Skynet or even choose to fight against Skynet. Endoskeleton The metal endoskeleton of a T-800 is a microprocessor controlled by triple armor hyper alloy combat chassis and is constructed with frictionless bearings in its joints and a servo articulated control system. Its limbs are controlled by an axial drive motors and claviger tailing links, allowing the T-800s to maneuver faster than a T-600 Terminators at bursts of speeds up to 22 miles an hour, no longer threatened by joint assemblies. The T-800 was also 20% lighter and 40% stronger than the T-600. The armor frame is capable of withstanding most contemporary weapons with small caliber and even sometimes withstanding a direct hit from grenade launchers. Durability Unlike their T-600 cousins who could be easily dispatched via a well-aimed gunshot or burst of fire to the cranium, the T-800 is more resistant to certain forms of attack. The exact extent of what they can endure is subject to their specific circumstances, but the general consensus is that most have displayed remarkable resistance to both conventional and unconventional combat engagements that would have left its predecessor as a pile of scrap metal. The T-800, while vulnerable to most plasma energy weapons, was at least primarily resistant to the weaker plasma weapons used by the HK Flying Mini Hunters. While the T-800s are extremely resistant to small arms fire up to and including 5.56mm NATO assault rifle rounds, 50 BMG sniper bullets, 
are sufficient to penetrate their armor chassis, capable of disabling or even decapitating a T-800 with a single perfectly aimed shot. Abilities The T-800's heads-up display featuring a tracking marker almost exactly the same with the exclusion of the many dots that would have highlighted a target. The T-800 is capable of running internal systems checks, calculating the distance of objects related to itself, targeting with a precision heads-up display, making detailed kinetic studies of trajectories, sampling and analyzing the atmosphere, weather patterns, and wind velocity, analyzing human emotion states, analyzing body language and the direction of muscle contraction, calculating the force of gravity, analyzing texture and temperature of materials, and sensing radar scans. It is fitted with an internal chronometer in order to keep track of its battle units. Cyberdyne Systems has given each one a series number. The series number refers to the type of internal structure or chassis, endoskeleton. However, the 800 series also has different configurations of living tissue, each one giving it the appearance of a different person. The physical appearance of the living tissue, which was initially based on photographic records from Skynet's databases and laser scans of human soldiers, is therefore also given a model number. The living tissue makes it difficult for humans to identify the T-800s. A significant number of these infiltration units have therefore been able to breach our defenses and slaughter resistant fighters. However, trained sniffer dogs posted at checkpoints are effective at detecting this new threat. T-800s being deployed straight onto the battlefield as soldiers do not need a disguise and so do not receive a biological covering. Skynet controls its battle units using Direct Link Command, an operation mode known as the Hive. Whereas battle units are hooked directly into Skynet and share a collective consciousness. However, there are hundreds of autonomous terminators not under Skynet's direct control. This is the second form of operating mode known as Rogue. In this mode, battle units are independent of Skynet, but are programmed to return and download information. The 800 series is also equipped with vocals which enable it to replace any human speech pattern of which it's heard an adequate specimen. It does this by recording and storing syllables of the subject's voices, which it then replays and uses to digitally synthesize their speech patterns. The T-800's auditory sensors are located on either side of its head, where the human ears would be. One ear records the full unequalized range of external sounds while the other can automatically filter signals to within a narrow range for a specific auditory signal. The T-800's optical sensors can sample an extended range of visible frequencies, including infrared, which allows it to see heated bodies in total darkness. This information is then displayed on a 40,000-bit digitalized display. Concussion-proof lenses protects the T-800's eyes, which are capable of moving independently. When using both eyes to track two different targets moving in different directions, depth perception is created artificially by creating a computer-generated off-angle ghost image. The T-800 is capable of motion tracking, search modes, facial identification, and recognition, and has extensive vision enhancement capabilities including long-range zoom, motion analysis, and night vision. The T-800s do not feel pain and they do not have nerve endings, but they can sense injuries. From hypothesis and speculation, it is possible that the T-800 can do this through the use of impact sensors or part of an overall sensor sphere that the unit generates, approximately akin to a counter-battery radar. There may be various impact sensors that record localized vibrations in the small shell and by exploration. Since where the damage in the T-800's living tissue is, the T-800 may also use these sensors to locate threats that are hidden or out of visual range. This data then allows the T-800 to conduct low-complexity self-repairs. If disabled, the T-800 is able to reroute systems to a secondary alternate power source, thus bypassing any severed connections, damaged circuits, or internal impairment. The T-800 series also has redundant backup hydraulic systems, therefore it is imperative that any resistant members determine that any T-800s are totally incapacitated in combat. 
Police the units are able to revive themselves and continue battle or pursuit of their target. Combat Abilities Combat situations notwithstanding, the T-800 has a functional period of 120 years on one power cell. This small compact nuclear power cell is located in the same approximate position as a human heart and is shielded in a case-hardened sub-assembly inside the triple-armored hyper-alloy torso. A powerful enough shot directly hitting this power cell would disable the unit. The T-800 is, however, also capable of conservation or economy mode. It does this by collecting and storing excess energy in compact energy sinks. In this mode, power is cut to 40% of normal function. Optical systems are switched to infrared only, and motivation units lose 40% hydraulic pressure as pumps slow. In this state, the T-800's power cell can last almost indefinitely. The T-800 is generally issued with a Westinghouse M27 phased plasma battle rifle in the 40 watt range or the General Dynamics RBS-80 phased plasma pulse gun. However, it is programmed to be able to use all military documented weaponry. The 800 series is, for example, extremely efficient in the use of the 45 long slide automatic the Model 1887 Winchester Lever Action Shotgun, the Franchi SPAS 12-gauge shotgun, the H&K MP5, the M79 grenade launcher, the Uzi 9mm, and the M134 minigun. Because of its ability to learn, it is able to defeat its more advanced series such as the T-1000 Terminator in combat on occasion. However, any particular advantage would be countered if Skynets were to set these units to learn as well. Infiltration A T-800 infiltrator is covered with living tissue that includes human-like flesh, skin, hair, blood, and other body fluids. The T-800 has a circulatory system which is controlled by a tiny pneumatic pump which maintains a constant pressure. This allows the T-800 to convincingly bleed when wounded. As the living tissue heat signatures match that of humans, thermal scanners fail to distinguish T-800s from real humans. Additionally, because the tissue is designed to mimic human flesh, it can accurately mimic bleeding, sweating, halitosis, and even aging. All of these features make the T-800 a superb infiltration unit. Furthermore, provided its flesh is not wholly destroyed, over some unknown time, a T-800 can gradually regrow its tissue covering. Thank you for watching the Skynet Terminator model, T-800. Special thanks to Terminator Fandom for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can, if you have. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.